Hi guys, so I'm in Shanghai right now for a very short um, work trip. I think I'm here for like less than 48 hours. I'm gonna do a little what's in my travel makeup bag for a very short trip. Now, I have packed really light for this trip because you know, I pretty I only need to do makeup like once, which is pretty much today. This is the look I put together. So it's pretty much my everyday makeup routine. If you wanna know what my everyday makeup routine is, then um, That'll probably be my next video, so stay tuned. So the bag that I decided to bring with me is this skinny dip um, glitter, what do you, what would you, glitter horse unicorn, I don't know. It's really cute. Um, basically a lot of skinny dip products are really cute. So I'll, I brought this back in, uh, during on my trip to London and it fits quite a bit of stuff. Like it fits a good amount of stuff. Um, so I'll go through what's in there. First things first, let's see. This is in no particular order, by the way. So perfume-wise, I decided to bring the Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede Perfume. This bitch is in a plastic bag, so because I don't want it spilling everywhere. So basically, this is the my um, makeup remover, which is the Shu Mira Skin Purifier, the anti-oxy travel size one and then i have the origins make a difference rejuvenating hand treatment gotta keep those hands moisturized and then i have the Gatsby powdered oil clear paper which is basically these blotting sheets that um have a little bit of powder in it so um when you blot it actually helps mattify the skin and then i have the another origins drink up intensive overnight treatment mask um this is one of my favorite, favorite masks to use after um, traveling. I've also now um, discovered my love for the SK2 facial treatment mask, which is absolutely amazing for after a really long haul flight. But on short haul flights, um, the Origins Overnight Mask does a pretty good job. You um, put a good amount onto your skin and you let it soak in and you you could rub off you know any excess if you if you're the type of person that doesn't like sleeping with um something you know like really thick on your face but i don't mind um i usually just go um let it sink in a little bit and then i go to bed and then the next day wash it off and your skin is hydrated and plump and you just feel your skin doesn't feel dry especially after flights to keep my lips moisturized i've got the the Nukes Rev de Miel um, lip balm. The, this is one of my favorite lip balms to use um, during the winter. It's thick and it just helps really nourish your lips and keep them moisturized. I also brought along the Benefit Pore Professional Primer. Um, I'm actually almost out. Um, this is one of my favorite primers. Really, it does a good job and minimizing the pores and you know giving you really like clean canvas to work with foundation wise i brought my favorite 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 drugstore foundation this is the revlon color stay for the um combination to oily skin it's just one of my favorite foundations it's it's got great coverage buildable coverage um i mean it it, it tends to be on the thicker side but it's definitely buildable um if you want a more um natural less cakey finish then what i do is i use a sponge i wet it and then i put a little bit of this on on the sponge and then i basically dab um the foundation on and that gives a more sort of natural less cakey finish which i quite like and this for me is one of the best foundations because i have really oily skin and this keeps my skin matte for a you know a good chunk of the day which is great and yeah i just love it it's one of my favorites i have the color in natural tan and i think i've gone through like i don't know like five or six bottles and then powder wise decided to bring along the rimmel stay matte long lasting press powder in warm beige um this is quite good you know good powder to use yeah right next um concealer wise i have the I have the MAC um, Match Master Concealer in number two. Um, very good concealer, um, creamy, good coverage. Um, this is, I think, my second tube, and yeah, I really like this. For bronzer, I brought the MAC um, Sculpting Powder in Sculpt. This is from the Maleficent Collection. 
for blusher, I got the Clinique um, Cheek Pop Blush Pop Nude Pop. <laughs> That's a lot of pops in one sentence. Um, yeah, so basically this is a nude, I don't think, I don't know if you can see this, but this is a nude blush. It reminds me a lot of the MAC Mineralized um, blush in Warm Soul, which is one of my favorite, favorite um, blushes, um, but less shimmery, so very easy to wear, and yeah, I've been lo loving this. As you know, I can't skip out on the lipstick. I brought um, Max Whirl, which is what I'm wearing right now, and then I brought MAC Retro, which I've been loving lately, wearing this a lot. For eyeshadow primer, I brought the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Um, this is my second tube, and it's brand new. Look how nice and white it is. I love it. Um, basically, um, even though I'm not actually wearing eyeshadow, um, I do like to use it um, as a base for my eyeliner because my lids do get quite oily and usually I find that if I don't put um, a, a primer, then the eyeliner tends to, um, tends to smudge a little bit. So put eyeshadow primer every t pretty much every time I wear eyeliner. I brought a sponge, which is actually quite dirty right now, uh, for my foundation. So basically what I do is I um, wet this and then I put the foundation on it and then I dab it in. So that gives us a very good, nice, natural finish. For um, eye makeup, I brought the Stila Stay All Day um, Eyeliner and then the 3 Concept Eyes um, Creamy Waterproof Eyeliner in black, which is, I, this is actually a pretty good eyeliner. Um, doesn't really transfer on me too much and very creamy, very easy to use. It's very similar to the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner. For some reason I have two um, eyebrow pencils. I, um, they're in different colors but I think I just like grabbed this really quickly. These are my all-time favorite eyebrow pencils. Um, these are the Shiseido Natural Eyebrow Pencil. I've got the colors in deep brown and natural black. I used to use natural black all the time, but um, I found that it's actually a bit too too harsh on on me because it's it's quite a dark color. Decided to check out deep brown. It's actually a better match for my hair color, so I'm actually wearing it right now. It's still dark, but not as dark as the natural black. And then to set all my makeup, I've got the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is a travel size version, which is really handy. Um, so basically what I do is just shake it up and then spritz it all over my face and that helps set the makeup for the day. And then I've got a set of tweezers. I've got a pencil sharpener here for the eyebrow pencils. Spare contact lenses. And then an emery ward because you never know when your nails are going to break and you need to file that shit away. And then finally, makeup brushes wise, I have got my favorite um, makeup brushes. These are the Real Technique makeup brushes. One of the best makeup brushes that you can get um, at really affordable prices. I brought with me the large powder brush to set on my makeup with powder. And then I have the blush brush, blush, <laughs> the blush brush. God, I can't, it's words. <laughs> um, which I use for blush. And then the, this is, I, I think, I believe this is the foundation brush, but I actually use this for concealer. And then I have the tapered um, brush, which I love for um, contour. This is one of my favorite contour brushes. So that's it. So I, this actually could, fits quite a lot of stuff. I used to bring like a ton, a ton of makeup. Like I'd have eyeshadow palettes, I'd have like 10 different lipsticks and lip liners, which I don't even end up using. Um, so yeah, being able to fit everything in that makeup bag is quite an achievement for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching my What's in My Travel Makeup Bag um, for a very short trip. And if you like this video, um, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thanks. Bye. Hi, everyone. So I went to London last month and I bought quite a bit of beauty stuff, um, a lot of skincare, makeup. I went a bit crazy. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a haul for you guys.